Hey guys, for this 2024 election prediction, we are doing Democrat Pete Buttigieg against Republican Marco Rubio. Pete Buttigieg is the Secretary of Transportation in the Biden administration. He is the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Uh, most popularity during the 2020 presidential election during the Democratic primary. He ran, but he lost. And Marco Rubio ran for the 2016 Republican nomination, but also lost. Um, I think he came in fourth overall. And, um... But he is a senator from Florida currently. So this is in the case that Biden does not run in 2024. Um, the West Coast and all of these states would be safe for the Democrats. New York, you know, the East Coast of Virginia, I think, would go to Buttigieg. And, of course, Illinois, um, Hawaii, he will have some rural appeal um, coming from the state of Indiana. You know, he will connect with farmers and rural voters, so I think that would be enough for him to carry New Mexico and Colorado. Marco Rubio will carry these safe Republican states, of course, Nebraska, the, the Dakotas, and, of course, the solid uh, Republican South. That kind of sounds weird to say. Did not mean to color in uh, North Carolina yet there. Um, I'd um, yeah, he would win. Um, I think Rubio, Ru sorry, Rubio would, um, Ru Rubio would be, um, popular enough to carry his home state of Florida. He does, um, he is pretty popular here, and Buttigieg won't really be very popular among, um, among, in, in, or in cities, I mean, in minorities, Buttigieg will do very bad in, uh, you know, he had, almost no African-American support, and Latinos won't be very different. Um, this, you know, loss of African-American support would lose him the states of Georgia and North Carolina, plus Marco Rubio um, is, um, you know, just come from the South, so he will appeal to these voters, plus um, Texas would go to Marco Rubio, definitely, you know, another candidate, um, another Republican candidate might make Texas a, um, a swing state, but with Buttigieg as the Democratic nominee, and Rubio comes from the South as the Republican, it will not uh, be a change here. Arizona, I think, would go to Rubio, um, uh, you know, because of its, you know, it's in the Sun Belt and these minorities. Um, I think Nevada would narrowly go to Rubio uh, just because there are some minorities here who just, it's, it's simple as that. They won't go to Buttigieg. Um, Iowa, he would lose because of the minority vote, um, in Ohio, I think Rubio would win because of the suburbs that I think he would be more popular in. But, uh, but Buttigieg will carry North New Hampshire and Maine, I do think so. Uh, Marco Rubio would narrowly carry the state of Indiana, Pete Buttigieg's home state, just because of, um, Buttigieg's lacks, or lack of popularity in, in, um, or, or not, I'm sorry, uh, just because, or, oh my god, I'm sorry. Rubio would just be more popular in suburbs, I'm sorry, even though it's his home state, but he would be liberal enough to carry uh, New Mexico, um, but the minority vote is going to cost him in Michigan, um, Rubio will connect to rural voters more in Wisconsin, but Pennsylvania, I think, would go to him just because it's a pretty liberal state that I see going to someone like Buttigieg. Um, and, in, you know, it's a pretty establishment state, so Marco Rubio wins with 291 electoral votes to people to judges 247. Thank you for watching.